Well, hello and welcome to uh, this exercise on probability and Venn diagram uh, and AQA question 91, that is GCSE 91. Uh, and it says um, the, Ven <laughs> the Venn diagram shows some information about 150 students. And C stands for students who study chemistry and P stands for students who um, study physics. And then he says um, the probability that a physics student, a physics student chosen at random, also studies chemistry is 5 over 12. Now, one of the 150 students is chosen at random. Work out the probability that the student does not study either chemistry or physics, and this carries four marks. All right, okay. Now, firstly, um, there are two methods to do this, but I'm going, to, I'm going to do it, I think, the easier easier of the two ways, I think. Now, um, what we've got here is, um, just to make a start here, we're looking at this here, physics students here. So, in effect, we are looking at this sample space to help us find the value of x there. And secondly, for finding uh, this one here, what kind of that does not study that this one here, we're looking at a bigger sample space set. All of that, that will help us find the value of y. Okay, so two sample space, one for physics and one for the whole, uh, for the whole you know, science class, as it were. Okay, so if we just Drop this off. This off here. Yeah. Now, looking at the physics sample space to start with, we have this here. That the number of students who study physics is x plus 35, which includes, you know, the whole thing, including those who also study chemistry. So the number who study physics is x plus 35, and x of those just do both physics and chemistry. So the probability will be x divided by x plus 35, which is equal to 5 over 12, as given to us there. Now, when you cross multiply, you end up with 12x is equal to 5 into x plus 35. And when you open up your brackets, you have, um, you know, 12x is 5x plus, plus 175, which gives us, now if you subtract 5x from both sides, we end up with 7x is equal to 175. If you divide both sides by 7, you get that x is 175 divided by 7, which gives us a value of x is equal to 25 there. So x is 25. Now, this means that the total number of students who study physics and chemistry is 47 plus 25 plus 35 and that gives us 107 now we now we've now finished with the with this um, uh, sample space here okay so we've worked at uh, x value there now we now move to the bigger sample space here which is this one here all of that okay so for that we do excuse me if we just drop this off uh, that goes and that goes there like this as well, like this as well. Okay. Now for that one, we're looking at uh, 150 students. Now to find out why, we subtract uh, 107 from 150, and that gives us 43. So for for three students, do not study either physics or chemistry, and the probability of that would then be 43 divided by 150. You can leave it at that, or you can use a calculator to find the value um, in terms of decimals or percentages. Now, I, I do hope all that made some sense, and please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and watch some of my other videos. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.